We all have that Pavlovian response to the techno. We know it's time for Sarah Haynes. Take and it that away. means normally Dan dances. Yes. But yeah. it's a boy for Simon Cowell and his girlfriend Lauren Silverman welcome their new son Eric right here in New York. A wonderful Valentine's Day surprise after Lauren went into labor yesterday morning, a week and a half before her due date. Simon tweeted that he and Lauren chose Eric's name to honor the music mogul's father. And if you're a bit bleary-eyed this morning, chances are it's because you were up late binge-watching the new season of House of Cards. That's my bleary eyes. Within just a few minutes of its release yesterday, it ranked among the most viewed shows on Netflix. It's also getting great reviews from critics and even a bigger endorsement from Washington, D.C., with President Barack Obama begging his Twitter followers not to post any spoilers. <laughs> I'm betting there were plenty of Valentiners who watched the entire 13-hour season last night. I did not. I stopped myself after one, but I'm going home to watch the rest. <laughs> and with Valentine's Day over for another year, it's time to fess up. Who got it wrong? We've had some great tweets from our viewers. This first one's from Amy. She says, my husband bought flowers on Wednesday, had them wrapped, and then stored them in a drawer underneath our bed. Fail. <laughs> Jeannie says, how could it be that someone might confuse the two words, just Jared's, the jewelry store, with Jimmy John's, the sandwich chain? What? And Amber shares her Valentine's Day fail. She says, my dog ate my sub, sub sandwich dinner. Valentine's fail, or a big Valentine's win for the dog. It's all how you look at it. And there are just three days left to enter the draw to win a best friend double date with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. And while Ben's been raising plenty of awareness on Twitter, he's been picking on his buddy about being behind the times, tweeting, Matt, you there, right? Okay, we'll fax you. And just like that, the hashtag faxing Matt Damon is taking over the internet. So this morning, I've dusted off a fax machine from the ABC archives, AKA Ron's office, and I'm joining the campaign. Here we go. Consider us part of this new victory. And for those of you at home who happen to get rid of your fax machine, oh my gosh, it works. At the end of the 80s, don't worry, you can still enter to win the Matt and Ben double date. Go to omaze.com forward slash Matt and Ben. We're in it, guys. You can't pay to me. You can hit me on the beeper. <laughs> yes. yeah, okay. Or the landline. Ron has oh one, of those, Just Ron has one of those school, huh? cell phones that comes in a, like a suitcase. Yeah. Yeah. The old brick ones. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Charge a thousand dollars in the satellite you plop on the car. Did that actually go through? Yeah, it did. Wow. All right. I'm impressed. I didn't know we had the technology. Sarah, thank you. We'll be right back with more GMA. Keep it here. <laughs> I'd rather be friends with you than that.